Need a quick lesson on the GED science scientific method? Then you're in the right place. Hi, this is Parker from Test Prep Champions, teaching you how to pass the GED fast. And you can get started by clicking subscribe down below. Story time. This is a true story that's going to stick the scientific method into your head. So one Sunday afternoon, I was sitting down to watch my favorite NFL football team play in a playoff game. Just like any other day, I picked up the remote to turn the power on on the TV when all of a sudden the unthinkable happened. The TV would not turn on. Growing even more and more panicked about missing the kickoff, I tried to press the power button again and again and again, but still, to my horror, the TV would not turn on. So I had a choice to make, and I decided to make a guess that the problem was that the batteries in the remote were dead. So I tore the closet apart to find a new set of batteries. I took the old batteries out of the remote and slammed a new set of double A's back in and I turned the TV on. But this is the worst part. The Steelers ended up losing the game, leaving me to very, very reluctantly cheer for that other Pennsylvania football team for the rest of the season. Remembering the steps of the scientific method is about as easy as remembering that story. So let's look at step one right now. So the first step of the scientific method is to observe a phenomenon and to formulate a question. So remember how I looked at the TV and I observed that it wasn't working, and so I formulated the question, why isn't my TV working? So again, step one is to observe a phenomenon and formulate a question. Step number two is to form a hypothesis. Now a hypothesis is just another word for an educated guess. So in this case, my hypothesis was that the TV is not working because the batteries are dead. Step number three, test the hypothesis with an experiment. So my experiment was to try new batteries and to see if the TV would turn on. Step number four, draw a conclusion about the hypothesis and you wanna see if the data that you get from your experiment supports the hypothesis or if it does not support the hypothesis. So in our example, I pressed the button and the TV turned back on, so the data that I got from my, experience, from my experiment supported the hypothesis that the TV wasn't working because the batteries were dead. So your next step is to go over and test yourself on the scientific method because I've got a GED science practice test for you where I have a question that covers the scientific method, so go check that out now and good luck on your test prep.